Hello, how's everyone today? I wanted to show you the journal that um, I've been working on for a while. Um, it's the Living Faith Journal and it's pretty much as full as I want to get it. The, the recipient may choose to add some more, but it's pretty, it's pretty packed. So I'm going to um, say it's complete. So the front cover and then let's see, there we are. So I added some things that we didn't work on together. I added a little booklet that I made that has some of my favorite Bible verses in it. And then I drew on there. I also added a tiny envelope with a cluster and a calendar for next year. I thought that was fun. I got those little calendar pages at uh, the dollar store. So here's the first page we worked on, which was a color palette and connected it with Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Then we went on to do a newsprint page with the gospel as the headline. We did an envelope page. That's where I put the letter to the recipient. What all they can do with the journal. There's some, um, what do you call those? Tuck spots. And I added a globe that I cut from my Cricut. Envelope with a, sorry, a pocket with a tag. added some artwork that I worked on, added an envelope with some, some journal cards. I did put a hymn in there, not exactly a hymn, but an older song. Added some, in the window here, I added a pressed flower that I had laminated. On this side, I put a sticker that I made. Here's my envelope page with a window in it. Another tuck spot. Here's a faux tea card that I made. They're so tiny and cute. And an envelope with a flip tuck spot and some more stuff that I drew and um, made. A lot of the digitals that I used were provided by Victoria Designs. I can link that in the description. A lot of the stickers I drew myself. This is from Victoria Designs an envelope that I printed out. It was, well, it's kind of a pocket, but there's a tag I made and it's got an opening in it. So what I did was I put the gospel in there. Some journal space where I stenciled some butterflies and a postcard. This was from Donna at Junk Journal Ideas. I left some blank watercolor paper in case the recipient wants to try watercoloring. Here's a little jar I made that can be used as a um, journal card. Again, from Victoria Designs. Then here's our big envelope with um, 
or it's a little booklet. I think it's a little booklet. A verse and a booklet. The Thanksgiving booklet. More of a journal. Little journal book that I decorated. And the room for lots more in there. And then what I did add to was this writing board. The idea is for it to be a solid piece for people to do writing on. Kind of like a clipboard. I don't know if it's actually that hard, but it provides a bit of a stable surface, I guess, for writing. And there's a stenciling page I did. More tuck spots. And the person can put other stuff in there too. It don't have to just be limited to what I put in. Some more watercolor. Here's the weaving page we did. Added some more artwork. Looks like another globe found its way in there. Maybe that was for the other journal that I had. Some artwork, watercolor, more watercolor. There's a paper feather that I made that I added. And then there's our wisdom page. There's a little have a heart that I added in here. And then I added some, some labels and tags and a journal card. There's our project page. And I took out the wooden anchor that I had in here, but I added uh, an anchor charm. I think it's made out of silver, at least the color is silver. Um, the wooden one broke right away, so apparently not the greatest choice for dangles. Then I found some ladies on a, a site called Pixabay. And so I, those were free, so I printed some out and made these little cards. There's a blank piece of paper. There's another one of the pages we worked on. Another um, journal card, a little cluster. There's that postcard again. This time I have a verse on it. And a belly band at the back with some more um, cards for journaling. And then that's the back cover. So yeah, it's pretty thick. And I'm going to call that one done and I'm going to start working on some more stuff. So hope you like that. And uh, if you want to see how we did any of those, just look back under um, Living Faith Journal and you'll find those videos there. So thank you for watching and I hope you have a great rest of the week. Bye for now.